All right, y'all. Welcome back to another video on the Nortex Mining YouTube channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Uh, it sort of started out as a little bit of tracking my journey mining helium and getting into crypto mining in general. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like helium content. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, today, I think, was a huge, huge, huge um, day when it comes to the the evolution of the helium project. Um, actually, I think the news might have broke yesterday, but today was kind of when everybody started to get their hands on, on the full hip and uh, I, I think this article that kind of breaks it down pretty nicely here from the Helium Foundation. But basically, the Helium Core team is proposing to migrate away from their proprietary L1 blockchain over to the Solana blockchain as the Layer 1. So I'll post both of these links, uh, the, the link to this article and the link to the full HIP in the... Uh, com uh, not comment box, into the uh, description box. There we go. But basically, here's the TLDR of it. Proof of coverage and data transfer moving that off-chain. There had been some talk about this for a while in the Discord as just a way to make proof of coverage and data transfer even more scalable. Um, these transactions are some of the most expensive, uh, in addition to the rewards transaction, right, um, on the blockchain. And so I think this is coming primarily from chain bloat, um, the motivation for this. Um, here it is, migrating the Helium network, including tokens and basically everything around HNT, DC, IoT, and mobile onto the Solana blockchain as the layer one. Um, kind of stunned, honestly. Um, I, I didn't think uh, this was going to be so easily um, or maybe so lightly taken. I really thought they were going to, you know, try and put it off as long as they could. And maybe they did. I mean, obviously, right? I'm not. I'm no core developer for these guys, but uh, you know, it's they seem to be doing everything they could and doing a pretty decent job of improving where they could. Uh, the move to validators was obviously a big change, and you know that took some time. And I think here recently, with at least within the past month, we were kind of starting to see them hit their stride and. The validators getting block times to about 50 seconds, which is even better than the target of 60 seconds. And so, I don't know. Uh, I guess I, I got maybe a little bit too comfortable thinking they they would, um, you know, maybe try and ride this out a little bit longer. Um, the other thing to note here as maybe like a fourth point, um, if this does go through, the validators obviously for the helium blockchain are no longer going to be needed so that six almost seven percent of hnt emissions will return to the miner pool so that's one thing to maybe consider um what i'm hearing mostly sounds to me coming from people in two different camps you're either a solana maxi or you're you're You've got a big bag of Solana that you're holding on to, or you have zero Solana. So, full disclosure, I have zero Solana, and I'm very skeptical about this announcement. Um, I'm going to try my best to, to try and find whatever best information I can for you guys um, to kind of come at it from an unbiased point of view. Um, but uh, I mean, definitely worth a, a scroll, you know, maybe on a lunch break or, or maybe whenever you have some time in the evening to kind of go through all of this. Um, but they kind of basically talk about, you know, the things that the, the network has struggled with, right? It's struggled with proof of coverage. It's struggled with reliable, apparently, data transfer activity. I haven't 
uh, you know, bought a mapper. I haven't bought any sensors to kind of onboard and test this out myself, you know, but um, we'll see where it goes. Um, obviously, they're, they're trying to get uh, hotspots beaconing faster. Here's a nice little graphic, but, you know, basically the same thing. Uh, these are moving off chain. Um, actually, yeah, and then this would move to Solana. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously, first impressions, it really does seem that, th that they don't, um, they're not prioritizing decentralization uh, as much, and they're going to go for speed and, and convenience and cheap gas, which is my understanding of Solana thus far. So again, I have a very limited knowledge of Solana. The reason, one of the main reasons why I liked Helium in the first place was because it had its own layer one blockchain. It almost makes this even more risky of a play, I think, that now, um, again, if the vote passes, it would be tied to the fate of Solana. Um, again, not super thrilled about it, but I have a lot of research to do. So, yeah, I mean, uh, apparently they, they did consider, um, you know, other things, other layer ones, but um, we'll see. We'll see how some of these, uh, you know, town hall goes and, and uh, Twitter AMAs, but um, apparently that, that is the core devs. Uh, the core devs have spoken, right? Helium core devs were the authors of this, so... Um, We'll see if Rust and the Solana ecosystem is going to lead to um, a lot more growth, or is this going to kind of split the community into two, and, and will people continue to support the Helium project and, and keep buying miners? And, you know, really, miners will flow to wherever is most profitable. It's been like that for the past uh you know year plus that i that i've been mining and and going back on youtube and trying to see some of these other guys that have content from going back to 2017 2018 i mean the miners are always going to flow to where the profits are so i mean uh, this is very you, you you know you're taking a lot of stuff off the chain and, and you're basically going back to web 2 architecture type stuff uh, and you're just paying, you know, you're paying people crypto as rewards. Um, sort of feels like a step backwards, but uh, I mean, I get it. The the chain bloat is is a real thing, and um, we'll see how how this ends up. So if you do have staked HNT, you're you're gonna get converted to either V HNT or you have this uh, this opportunity between um the implementation of this thing again should the vote go through to get your hnt um in a lot quicker time than this cool down it used to be the six month lockup right um but uh there's going to be some transition period where you can get your your staked hnt back and and um do what what you will with it if you want to leave the project you're I'm sure you'll be able to do that um, and if you want to stick around you can uh, basically do, do the vote escrowed HNT and kind of stake it uh, to either IOT mobile both you can kind of pick and choose which uh, which ones you want to allocate that to so I'll get into some more of the this V HNT stuff in in uh, the hip 51 52 53 video that I'm also working on uh, to kind of try and see what these mobile rewards are going to be. But, um, yeah, definitely wanted to, again, mark this uh, in Helium's history here. We're, we're at the end of August now, so uh, we'll see if this is going to uh, pass here in September. Um, again, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be trying to do some research on Solana and other alternative L1 blockchains um and see is this really the best choice or not so um 
be on the lookout for, for another video for that here in the next couple weeks. And um, go ahead and, and hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss it. Uh, and until then, keep your costs low, keep your spirits high. Keep mining, y'all.